Hi, second grade and second grade families. Oh my goodness, 2P and 2CO, I miss you guys so much. I miss all the laughs. I miss your enthusiasm and how excited you were about activities and to do songs. Um, one thing that we've been talking about, if you remember, before we started learning from home was the different instrument families. So if you remember our four different instrument families, can you echo me say strings, plunk, woodwind, whistle, brass, toot, <laughs> percussion, boom. Yes. So we have our four instrument families, our four main families. And we talked about the string family. We know that an instrument that belongs to the string family is any instrument that really has strings in it. And we know that when you pluck or bow the strings, the v -v 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 vibrations go into the b -b 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 body where they r r this one's a hard one, where they r they resonate. Remember, when something resonates, what are the vibrations doing? What are they doing in the body of the instrument when they're resonating? They're bouncing around in the body where they resonate and when they're bouncing around, they're getting louder so they amp amplify. Can you say the vibrations <laughs> go into the body where they resonate and amplify? Yeah, so we know that's really how a string instrument works, and we talked about a lot of different instruments that belong to the string family. We have, can you say, baby violin, sibling viola, mama cello, daddy bass. Look, daddy bass doesn't even fit in my little video here. <laughs> daddy bass. Who remembers how many feet does daddy bass stand? Daddy bass is how tall? Six feet tall. One whole foot foot taller than Miss Chalinski is how tall daddy bass is. So we started talking about our string family and we did our string experiments where you had a chance to play my ukulele, you had a chance to play a ma man mandolin, not mandarin. Mandarin is an orange. We played a mandolin, mandolin, and you also got to play the piano. So now the piano is a little confusing. We know that the piano belongs to the string family. But there's another family that the piano belongs to as well. Do you remember what other family does it belong to? The percussion family. Why? Why does it belong to the percussion family? I'm hearing all the answers in my head that I hope that you're saying. <laughs> yes, because you tap the keys. And when you tap the keys, there's a whole hammer board inside where the hammers move forward and they strike the strings to produce the sound. So a piano can really fall in either family. It's not one or the other. It's a little bit of both. The next family that we started talking about, if you remember, we started talking about our woodwind family. So now our woodwind family is broken up into two categories. We have the f flute, the flutes, and we have the r r the reeds. We have the flutes and we have the reeds. So now the flutes, I was hoping that we were able, going to be able to do a couple of experiments with woodwinds, creating our own instruments. So in another video, I'm going to make two ways that you can make woodwind instruments at home. It's not going to be in this video. It's going to be in a different video. This video, we're just going to talk about how it really creates the sound. So in a different video, we're going to, I'm going to have their different ways to create the woodwinds, things that you will need. So that way you can be prepared when the video comes out. You're going to need a piece of paper, any kind of paper. It could be lined paper, white paper, as long as it's clean paper. You get a piece of paper and you're going to take a ruler and you're going to measure it eight inches wide by two inches thick. So eight by two. So you're going to need that. Another thing you're going to need is a plastic straw. I know plastic straws aren't the best, but this straw really isn't going to get tossed out because you're going to make it into an instrument. So you're going to need a piece of paper, eight inches by two inches, and a plastic straw. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and an adult to help you cut the plastic straw. The adult is the key, most important part in the plastic straw instrument. So what we're going to be doing, you're, we're, you're going to be making two reed instruments. So today I'm going to show you a couple of flute instruments. So one thing I have 
is a flute. So now this, you can see it up close. It has holes drilled into it. This is a bamboo flute. That means that it is made out of bamboo. This is where the lip plate is. So that's what I put up against my lips when I go to play. You see the little hole right there? So there's my lip plate. And then all down here are the different finger holes that I have. Remember, most flute instruments you hold vertically, horizontally. <laughs> it's hard with videos. You hold horizontally. There's one that you hold vertically. It's not this one. Do you remember what is the one W flute instrument that you hold vertically. A recorder. Yes, it is a recorder. I hope you said recorder. So we have our recorders. So this is our bamboo flute. And when you play the bamboo flute, you put your lips across the lip plate. Remember, half of my air is going across this hole, and the other half is going through the hole through the instrument. And when the air splits, it va 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 it vibrates. That's how it creates a sound. So if I play this, you hear how it makes that sound when the air splits? And I can use the different finger holes to play a song. goes through the instrument, the other half of my air goes across the instrument, and that splitting air creates the sound. A bamboo flute has a very different sound than a regular flute or a metal flute. This is what flutes looked like originally. So there's a bamboo flute. I'm sure that not everybody has a bamboo flute at home, which is totally, completely okay. One thing you can do, I was playing around with my water bottle the other day, and my water bottle, you can see the cap, it has a plastic cap that has a smaller opening at the top in my water bottle. And I only thought that you could do this with disposable water bottles, so like a Poland Spring water bottle, or a Smart water bottle, or a Fiji water bottle. I thought you could only do it with the plastic water bottles, but but I was playing with this bottle the other day and I was sitting and I realized that I could make a sound. And this isn't the store bought, well I did buy it in the store, but this is like heavy duty plastic water bottle. I need to drink more water, obviously. I'm not very hydrated today. So this is a more heavy duty water bottle. So if you have any kind of a container that has a small plastic opening, <laughs> Try to blow into it. Try to see if it makes a sound. And then if, when you drink water, and there's more space for the air to move, remember the pitch changes. Is this going to produce a higher or a lower pitch? A lower pitch, because now there's more space in there for the vibrations in the air to move around. You hear how it's lower? I wonder if you can make a sound with this water bottle if I take the top off and just try to use this part to make a sound. Nope. Does not work. The body of the water bottle is very necessary in order to produce a sound. It was worth a try. In order to produce a sound with the water bottle. So if you have a water bottle like this one at home that has a smaller cap, definitely try it. This cap is completely open, so there's no pop off that you take off of it for the water to come out. So the cap does have to be completely open to try to make a sound. If you have a different kind of bottle at home, like a juice bottle or a soda bottle, water bottle, definitely try to make the splitting sound. So I want you to go around your house and find different bottles that you could use to create sound. If you have more than one bottle, do what, if you remember PJ, our very crazy PJ, if you remember in the video, he went around and he filled different bottles with different levels of water and food coloring. And he went through and he had all the different bottles have different levels and he used food coloring to see where the water was and then he played a song with the bottles so if you have more than one bottle I want you to fill it up with water you don't have to have food coloring that is okay that was just a fancy thing that PJ did but I want you to fill up the water bottle with different levels of water 
and see the different sounds you can make. See if you can hear a familiar tune like the ABCs or Mary Had a Little Lamb. So see if you can do that and that will be your task for your flute woodwind until we meet again and we make our two reed instruments. Remember you need a piece of paper that's eight inches by two inches and you need a straw. The thicker the straw, the better. So make sure that you can have thin straws, but if it's a thicker straw, that might work a little bit better. It cannot be a paper straw, unfortunately. It has to be a plastic straw. Okie doke. I miss you all so much. I can't wait to make instruments with you, and I might be popping in on a couple of Zoom morning meetings with you so I can say hi because I miss you all so, so very much. All right, everyone, I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.